Hey, how you doing, brother? David, what's going on, bro? I'm doing well. How are you doing, TJ? Doing well, man. Doing well. I don't know if I at least told you um, how to bump it up because uh, a newborn came in the other day. You have a newborn? I have a newborn, yep. Yeah. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Yeah, That's yeah. a worthy reason to move a call. <laughs> yeah, we had a doctor's appointment this morning. I was like, ah, I don't want to have to rush it, you know. But totally. Anyway. Yeah, so that's good. That's good. Um, yeah, so I heard you're killing it. Uh, I guess that's what you would call killing it, you know? <laughs> yeah, so we're doing we're doing pretty well. We've closed a few deals. Uh, we're over six figure, or not six, but double figure, you know, uh, 200 around that profit point. But yeah. Awesome. You're, so you're saying um, $200,000? Yeah, we're getting, nearing in, in, in that profit. Okay, sweet. Yeah. After after this uh, two more that's closing, I think that's going to be about let's see what do we got 30, 30 and a fifty five that's coming. Okay, and you guys are using Deal Machine. Yeah, that's all. That's all Deal Machine, man. Love it. Why'd you guys pick it up in the first place? How long you guys been at it? For me, um, as far as my team, um, you know, I, my background just kind of give you a little idea. Uh, okay. I was mainly fixing and flipping, and I was buying properties in like auction, um, MLS. And everywhere that you shouldn't be buying, trying to get a deal from. Right. Uh, so I got tired of doing that. We've done over 50, 50 fix and flip. And, you know, I transitioned to uh, wholesale. You know, I was like, you know what? I got to give this wholesaling a shot because everybody where I'm buying from, they're wholesalers and it seems like they're making more money than I am. So if I know how to do the fix and flip, I think I know how to do the, the wholesale, not a problem. So um, mainly in the, in the beginning, I was just uh, – pick it back and off of other people's deals. And, uh, you know, once in a while we'll, we'll do like a uh, random deals, right? There's really no structure to it. And then I knew about deal machine prior. I was like watching the, the polites. I think yeah. the whole entire business was like runs off of deal machine. I'm like, how do you do that much volume in just driving for dollar? Mm -hmm. When I looked into it and I was like, Oh my God, like I got to give this, this system a try. Because if I can run the automation, running the team, and the postcard is sending out automatically, like this is this is it right here. And so the first first few months, I dove in. Uh, I just did the the basic app um, subscription, and I started sending postcard automatically. I was like, you know, I just send a postcard. I don't need to review the my properties or my guys' properties, and the the, the leads started coming in. I was like, holy shit! So that means all I gotta do is just double down and increase my, my team volume and the results will follow. So it's kind of what I did in a short time frame. And uh, now I think I have over 40 uh, deal finders uh, in the system since I, since I upgraded to uh, the enterprise like a, a month or two ago. Yeah. So how are you paying your deal? Find like, where are you finding the deal finders? How are you recruiting them and how are you paying them? Yeah, so the way I'm finding the, the, the deal finders, first of all, like my, my, just my inner circle of friends and, and network, right? Like people that are familiar with real estate. And so I, I kind of just let them know about it. And, and I'm very generous when it comes to like paying out my guys. And so I know some people are paying them like maybe a dollar or two dollars per property. Okay. Um, I pay my guys 20% of the assignment fee. So pretty hefty uh, check. We got, we're, we got the two properties closing. Both of the guys are, are really happy that what, what they're going to get for it. But um, yeah, 20% what I'm paying for my guys. And the way I'm finding them is uh, just inner circle of friends. And then from there, I've also structured a, a, a team tier, different levels to where they can recruit their own friends and family to go find properties for them. And if that person closed or we end up closing a property, they get a certain percentage depending on what level they're in. Yeah. Okay. Pretty cool. I can share with that that I shared it with at least um the level three levels of tiers where you can basically recruit for your own for your own uh benefit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. That's so cool, man. I'm glad you're really enjoying the enterprise stuff. It's powerful, especially if you use the um the landing page and the training portal that does a lot of the heavy lifting. Getting them yeah. to sign up. Yeah, when I signed up understand yeah, how you want them to operate. Right. Yeah. When I first signed up with the, uh, the enterprise, um, when I saw that, the onboarding part, I was like, because in my head, I'm like, if I build, build a team, I'm going to have to train all these people and I don't have time for that. Right. And when I signed up and it, it onboarded me onto that process, I'm like, okay, this is, this is a game changer right here. This is going to go quickly. You know, um, having a link 
um, just send them out there and they, they can onboard. And you guys even emailed me that, Hey, another team joined. I'm just like, every day I see, I see in my emails, like, Hey, another team joined. <laughs> so it's pretty, yeah. Awesome. yeah, it's a great feeling. Glad you're enjoying that. And so, um, what was like the first deal that you did? Tell me about that. Uh, the first deal was, um, was out in Bremerton. That was the, that was driving for dollar, obviously. Um, it was a homeowner that had, that had owned their, their property. It's been a rental for like 20 plus years. And uh, the homeowner was re like ready to retire and it doesn't want to be a landlord anymore. And uh, they've already started up updating that, the property. Okay. New, new furnace and everything. And it was just basically a, a basic remodel, right? Touch up. And um, he, was, he was asking a little bit more on the retail side, but um, I was able to convince them to lower their price, obviously cash offer and all that stuff. And uh, I think we paid like 66 cents on a dollar. And so we were able to make that work. And then I was able to assign it to a um, fixer and flipper investor for a $20,000 wholesale fee. Okay. Yeah. Sick. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> no, I mean, in, in our market, like 20K, bro, it's like, it's like on the low end. Yeah. Like if you get below 20K, like that, that deal, you didn't negotiate that deal good enough because like, in this market, in our market, Seattle Tacoma, like you, getting 50k on a wholesale fee, like you should be able to get that. Like probably one out of five of your deals should be about 50k. Okay. And then how many? Uh, I mean, that's crazy because I hear a lot of people say they can't find any deals in those high dollar markets. So it's pretty cool that you're finding success there, and um, it's it's kind of repeatable for you. It sounds like it's a system that's working. Yeah. Yeah, right now my biggest challenge is um, keeping up with the with the calls coming in. Like, we probably get ten to fifteen calls a day. I mean, if you see my account, we have over seven thousand properties, right? And my biggest challenge is trying to trying to put somebody on the phone that's that's taking taking this inbound calls. That's good enough when it comes to uh, acquisition and negotiation, right? That's, right? that's my next challenge is I can't take on all this call. And I'm, I'm forwarding them all to four different people. One, one acquisition manager, just, he's, he's fully onboarded and two on training. And then me, um, every time I see a phone number, that's a local number. I'm like, I'm waiting for the other team to pick up before, before I like last minute, I'll pick it up. So yeah. A few still gets through me, but, um, you know, listening to the call recordings, I definitely got some work to do with uh, training my acquisition guys. Gotcha. Well, that's smart that you're actually recording it so you can go back and use it as like a teaching tool. Yep. Yep. All, all the calls inbounds, outbounds, uh, we're using call rail and as well as uh, we're using uh, Zen call to do an outbound calls. Okay, cool. Yep. What's the difference? Why are you using Zen call instead of uh, call rail for your outbound calls? So the out, so right now I like, the the call rail we already, or the the uh, Zen call we use that for like volume cold calling. Okay. So we have that department. So I have three virtual assistants in the Philippines gotcha. just on the phone, and um, the I believe the call rail outbound calls is an extra, and so we we don't use that. I, I just record the inbounds, and on top of that, I don't have I don't want to have to give them access to my call, call rail accounts yet. You know. Okay, um, understood. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, the, uh, the Zen call account, um, it, I can, I can just have them ask a login and just to make calls only. There's, yeah. there's no features they can, they can touch. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. Cool. It, that's so great to hear your story. A lot of times the, uh, the people that are doing real volume, um, they are heads down and I don't hear about it. So it's just really awesome that, uh, we got connected. So yeah, yeah. I, um, one, one thing I'd love to invite you to do TJ is, is to actually be a co-host of one of our live Q and A webinars. Okay. Uh, if you'd be up for that, we actually just market it to our entire um, audience mm -hmm. membership, and then they can come and ask you questions about how you've scaled and been successful and uh, did all those deals. Yeah, I would love to, man. I would love to. Um, you know, I don't know if you at least told you as well. We have a, a private group community for just the deal machine and my because I'm a licensed agent as well. Okay. So I'm, I'm building a team of agents that are handling all my retail leads. And then they're also a part of my wholesale team to where they can also uh, go to this appointment anyways, and either provide the, uh, the cash offer option or the listing option. So 
um, that's where wow. I host my all my team and updating them with the uh, any trainings and questions and whatnot. So did you say you have an actual Facebook group for your specific deal finders? Yeah, it's uh, called Team Deals for Dollars. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> you are another level, man. <laughs> I'm trying to get there, man. I've, I've only started, um, the, I've like fully committed to the wholesale game uh, in June 2019. Okay. So not, not too far into it, but I want, I want to be able to scale. I've already been through uh, the All In Entrepreneurs um, you know, um, Elite program and whatnot. Yeah, I, I want to be able to scale, and that's exactly what I'm trying to do. Perfect. What What were some uh, things from the All In Entrepreneurs Elite Program that you applied that you think made you successful? The systems. Okay. Definitely. One of the things that when I when I when I committed to the wholesale, my biggest struggle was, um, you like I didn't have the systems or understanding of the systems to. Get, get things running in, in a volume kind of way because you know you heard it before if you can do it once you just got to replicate it and replicating means systems right um you can't do it all on your own so that was the main thing why i signed up for the all-in guys and um you know I, I i was i had one mission there i was like to, to rip off their systems and take it home <laughs> and uh that's basically what i did i subscribed to everything they recommended and um i just pretty much ignore the dollar signs in my head because you know the dollar signs scare you when when it comes to having the systems in place yeah the cost and like the monthly and all that stuff i just try to just not think about it too much and just believe in the process and just subscribe to all the systems and put it to work because yeah another doubt is you know it's not going to work well if you don't work it's not going to work <laughs> okay i understand that man that's cool i like that i like to hear that yeah so um, yeah, I love those guys over there. So the the systems are the part that's necessary to scale. I mean, the the training portal and the the landing page to get people onboarded, like you mentioned, is kind of our version of that. It's like that's a critical business system that's you know every single person that comes in is going to have to do. So yeah. you've got to document it, write it down, so that right. you can reference it instead of repeating yourself every time. Right. Yeah, that's my biggest challenge now. Is um, I'm, I'm actually I'm I'm like hiring a, uh, a personal assistant right now um he's virtual and then i have I have one virtual and one local but of course they're they're kind of you know on a watch i'm basically just testing them see what they can do yeah and i'm asking them to like help me extract things out of my head and put it on paper or on video um because i'm not always going to be thinking of or me pushing myself like i need to create this and to create that it's like if somebody else says hey tj allocate an hour and we need to create training video for this portion right here then that gives me a, a more of a attention rather than like, cause you know, as a business owners, we got so many things in our head that if nobody else is, you know, organizing it for us, it's just a mess in our head. Right. A hundred percent. Yeah. Awesome. Well, TJ, let me, um, let me actually book you for that webinar. Uh, if you're cool with that, I'll, I'll introduce you to Hannah. She schedules them. We do them on Thursdays every other week. So she'll tell you what's available next. Okay. Thursdays every other week. Yep. Awesome. All right. Yeah, my Thursday is typically typically open. Okay. So, Amazing. Yeah, definitely. Let me know. Um, give me give me like uh like an idea of what what the questionnaire is all about, so I can kind of yeah provide so, as much content as I can. The beautiful part about it is you don't have to prepare anything because it's a live Q and A. Okay. Perfect. So basically, it's an hour long, and what I do is um I spend ten minutes introducing like who you are you'll have an opportunity there to tell your story in addition to whatever I say. Okay. Um, and then we basically open it up for Q and A. So people yeah. have the context of like where you came from, what you did, what level of success you've had. And they're going to be full of questions about how'd you scale your team? how do you, you know what I mean? How'd you do this? How'd you do that? And it'll take up the whole rest of the time. Awesome. awesome. They'll be easy for you to answer cause you, you've done it. So it's just going to be, yeah. <laughs> Okay, no, I'm, I'm excited. I'm up for it. And um, uh, as far as that, like, uh, this is going to be like live broadcast, right, on the Deal Machine group. Um, yeah, we do YouTube it on Zoom probably. webinar. Yeah, we do it on Zoom webinar and then publish it on YouTube. Okay, okay. Nice. Awesome. TJ, thank you so much for your time. Hey, David, I appreciate you, man. Um, I look forward to it. And um, if, um, as far as like apps and, and whatnot, like, um, 
uh, recommendations and additions or features. I have a few in mind. And Let's hear it. Talk. One of the things is uh, like scaling up. One of the things that I, um, uh, that comes up is like every time I have to think about like who joined in or how many teams do I have now, I have to constantly scroll and count them manually, maybe add a feature to where it has a counter on, on your, your team dashboard of how many totals you have. Per person, you mean? Yeah, per person. Because right now I have over 40, and every time I have to look back and like, because I, I track them on my uh, separate spreadsheet to exactly how many how many uh, members I have now. And then also I'm trying to track like who's more who's more productive in, in, in uh, percentage-wise, you know? And so that way I can, I can put more attention to that person. Okay. Rather than trying to guess like who's productive this week or manually tracking them. Something like that. I know that's probably going to be a little bit of an upgrade, but um, I think it's beneficial to the people that are scaling it. Yeah, I think I think I know what you mean. Let's see here. Have you seen this feature upvote site? Yeah, yeah, I've been I've been through oh, yeah. there just a few times. I think I posted that one on there as well. Oh, you did. Okay, if you did that, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm not sure. Not too many people have seen it. <laughs> what else? Um, let's see. Oh, one other thing was. Um, on the on the an analytics uh, portion, where you scroll at the very bottom, it says t- it tells you how many appointments you have, how many uh, follow ups and whatnot. Maybe you can make that uh, that that number clickable to where it take you to that sort sort of that properties. Okay. I know you can do it. I know you can filter it manually on the. I don't know if it's the settings or whatnot. Yeah. But within the analytics, I think that would be a faster shortcut. Oh, totally. I, yeah, I I'm totally. Analytics like every day <laughs> you know and so if, if you make those the, the bottom portion where it says how many follow-ups how many um you know not interested uh how many close if you click on that it takes you directly to those list of properties i think that's a convenient way of of filtering okay understood yeah i, I like that no I, I definitely think that's how it should be we just haven't gotten around to it yet right right i know you guys are adding a lot of features to it and yeah that, that new feature you guys added uh, that basically eliminates um, um, another app was called, uh, I can't think of it, Landglide. Okay, yeah, you don't have to use that? Yeah, because we, we used to use Landglide to just hover over properties. Yeah. Because you can, you can hover on them and you can, you can see the, the, the homeowner information. Now you don't have to because in the past, you used to just, you have to click it to have the homeowner to, to show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you're uh, you're saving money and actually just not having to switch back and forth anymore. Yeah. And my next question would be, I'm trying to trying to get an idea later on down the road. Now, are you, as you guys are adding more features to the to the app, are you is it going to increase in price? Am I going to be grandfathered in, or what's your? Yeah, we uh, we don't have any price increases on this on the schedule at the moment. We've got um, yeah, so. A few, a few upgrades and whatnot. Yeah, we don't have any on the schedule that I that at the moment. Yeah, how about how about like uh, we just had one actually. We just increased the enterprise plan to two ninety nine a month on in November or something. Not yeah. too long ago, so it, it's going to be that way for a long time. Gotcha. Yeah, I should have joined before you guys increased it because I, I was thinking about it already. Well, you get better. You so it's not like we just increase it. You actually get like the rock bottom mail pricing with that price point. And on the old price point, you don't get the cheap mail. So it's oh. just like you're saving money anyway by being on the higher monthly plan. Okay. So that's what I was going to ask next is that with the new features you guys have, um, I'm, I'm thinking more of like I may not need as much drivers as, as I used to, you know, in the mm-hmm. beginning because of the features of uh, tap to add. Okay. Um, I can literally just hire a virtual assistant and just send them a list of absentee owners or whatever particular list that I need to add a deal machine and just push a button. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, that highlighting actually does, will highlight the absentee owners for you already. Right. Right. And that's, that's what I'm talking about. Like I don't need a driver. I can just hire a virtual assistant to, to just highlight those absentee owners and add them. Yeah. Well, I mean, I would say you've probably found a lot of your deals already because they're distressed, right? Like they actually right. look distressed. So yeah, the, the majority of them are distressed. Yeah. Yeah. So I wouldn't ignore the owner occupied distressed ones. Yeah. Yeah. And I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't just, just do a, an absentee owner list. I think your results would be different if you were to do that. Yeah. The, the, the bulk up- upload feature 
Um, oh, it's coming. The, no, the street. Yeah, it's coming, right? All right, it's coming. Yeah, because I mean, that that kind of eliminates the needs <laughs> for for main drivers. Right. I still got you know need properties fine, but I think 40, 40 drivers should be. That. Right. Oh man, you broke up a little bit. There you go. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, yeah. With the, with the bulk upload feature, like that eliminates the, the need to to grow as far as the deal finders. You know, I mean, I have my mm. basic counties all covered up already. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I see yeah, what you're saying. But as... I, don't forget, like the main purpose of the app is to find distressed homes. You can't buy those kind of leads. You know, you've got to find them yourself. So if you add other types of leads in there, that's perfectly fine. Uh, just... I don't know that it replaces the need to have a, a driver. Somebody out actually. Looking. Right. No, I totally agree with you. Yeah. No, that, that definitely is the, the bulk upload. I think it, it benefits, especially if you're um, taking on virtual markets as well, you know, okay. and um, get, get a head start on it. Yeah. Well, okay. dude, TJ, let's get you on the books. Thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate it. Yeah. Appreciate you, man. Um, yeah, keep the app running. <laughs> okay, 100%. We will. It's going to get better, too, here in the next week. We've got another um, pretty big update. Okay. I look forward to seeing it. Yeah. Okay. Talk to you soon, TJ. All right. Thanks, David. All right. Bye.